In this movie, we're going to take a closer look at the et font face syntax as it exists within the specification, and then discuss how the syntax should be modified for real-world implementations. As found in the CSS Fonts Level 3 module, the syntax for et font face is pretty easy to learn. Et font face declarations are made at the top of style sheets and give the user agent the information needed to access and reference the font. Let's examine this sample rule. Et font face is used for the rule, and individual declarations are contained inside the rules brackets. The first descriptor is the font family declaration, and it allows the author to give the font a name that can be then referenced throughout the style sheet. From this point on, font stacks within this style sheet could reference the quote unquote my font font. This is followed by the source declaration, which specifies the resource containing the font data. Now, this is usually a path to a font resource, although with certain font services, this can contain specialized code or a link to an encoded resource. This can also be a comma separated list of multiple declarations. You could use that, for example, to provide alternate file types for multiple devices. As with any new feature, there will be some support issues for at font face across multiple browsers. In the case of at font face, this will cause us to create syntax that's a bit more complex than what you see here. Now, before we look at modifying our syntax to enable cross browser support, let's take a look at why this is currently necessary. So in terms of support, Safari has supported at font face since version 3.1, Opera versions 10 and above, Internet Explorer since version four. No, seriously since version four, can you believe that? Firefox since version 3.5, and Chrome since version four as well. So far, so good. However, although they all support at font face, the different browsers support different font formats, and that can make serving up fonts really tricky. Okay, so here's what's supported. Safari supports true type and open type fonts. Although the iPhone and the iPads worth noting only supports SVG fonts. Internet Explorer only supports the embedded open type font. Firefox and Chrome support true type, open type, and Opera supports true type, open type, and SVG. Now, the web open font format, or WAF, is a relative newcomer to web font types and is currently only supported by Firefox. However, it is the font format contained within the standard and it is rapidly being supported by other browsers. So, expect to see that format gain a lot of traction here in the near future. Well, that certainly muddles things up a bit. The good news is that you can modify your syntax to pass more than one font type. Now, here's how we do that. So, wait, <laughs> what is going on here and what is up with that smiley face? Well, here I'm going to turn to Paul Irish to explain this. And Paul isn't going to show up himself. It's just that he has an excellent blog post about cross-browser font syntax. I encourage you to go check this out because he explains it a lot better than I can. So essentially what we do is we declare the font family as you would normally and then modify the syntax to ensure cross browser support. So here we see font family medium medium. All right. Now the syntax order has almost everything to do with Internet Explorer. 